Murphy and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about how to blend a photo into your layout with your background paper here to get something that looks kind of like what you're seeing here in this example. I've got my daughter's uh, face sort of glowing and kind of transparent off of the side here. I'm going to show you a way we can get uh, a couple ways rather we could get that sort of look out of this. So let me pull up. I've got a background paper and a photo. Here's the photo of my daughter that I'm going to use and it's kind of a cute photo but she's got a little bit of a bruise here on her head so I thought I'd just do that same kind of thing with this photo in another layout where I blend it into the paper so that certainly won't be obvious at all. So as I said I've also got another background paper here to use and I like to use a neutral type of a background when I'm blending a photo in but a light color like on that other one is fine too, just something that's not too bold and crazy I think would probably look good for this. This is one of my neutrality papers. So I'm going to get this photo onto the background here and I'll mention that both of these have been resized to 72 pixels per inch to make this tutorial move along a little bit faster. So now I've got the photo up here and because it's being cut off at the bottom of the shot here I'm going to go ahead and move her into the corner here and probably move her out right about like that. So I could erase this, but I don't want to do anything destructive like that, so I'm going to use a mask. I'm going to hit my Quick Mask button. The mask is white right now, so you can see the entire photo, because white will show what's on this layer. Black will show what's on the layer below. So I'm going to paint through black so I can now see this background paper in this area instead of the part of the photo. So I've got a paintbrush here and a soft brush. I'm going to make it a little bit larger than that. And I'm going to do this pretty quickly for the tutorial's sake. I've clicked on the mask to make sure I'm painting on it. Black is my foreground color, soft brush, and I'm starting to go here to town. The soft brush will really help in this case because we're going to make sure we don't um, get hard edges on this photo or anything. And it's a little bit more forgiving, so to speak. I don't want to cut into her eyes for sure. And I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice this little piece of hair back here just to get rid of some of this... Thankfully, it was kind of a nice neutral gray background that she was in the tub here. That's why she looks a little bit bedraggled. So I'm just doing this really fast just to make sure I can get most of this gone. Make my brush a little bit smaller as I go in here. I don't want to make this the big focus of the tutorial here, but there, I just want to get it so that it's not glowing too much because any of that edge may show up if I'm not careful. Okay, that's pretty good, I'd say, for what we're doing. Now, I could just change the blend mode at this point, like, for instance, overlay gives me kind of a nice look, but I think I'm going to do something a little bit different on this one. So what I'm going to do is put that back at normal. I'm going to copy this layer off by hitting Control or Command and J on the Mac, turn off this layer down here below it. So I'm going to work on the copy. So I'd, if I did change my mind and wanted to go back to the blend mode, I haven't done anything to this layer. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit Control and U or Command and U to bring up my hue and saturation controls, and I'm just going to lighten this layer up about eh, 35, not not too much. I think I did 50 when I was doing test circles. Let's try 45. And now I'm just going to lower the opacity of this layer. I think I had it about 65 earlier, maybe just 60. Yeah, that's maybe a little too too low. I want to be able to see it, but not s fully see it. So now it has a nice sort of washed out, a little bit transparent, but not too transparent of a look that looks a little bit different from the blend mode. Here, in fact, I'll show you. I'll put this layer back on, put the blend mode back on overlay here, and there's what that looked like before. So you can see that has a little bit more color into it than this kind of washed out ghosty look and I think I like that a little bit better but it's really a preference of which you which you prefer so now it's ready for you know a title and maybe another photo that she could be looking at I have another one of her in the bathtub and and just ready to work with in a layout I'm CB and I hope you found this helpful for making that kind of a item in your layout thanks for watching